V, diamond in the rough, and clear desk. About just over a metre of it. <laughs> so you guys don't get to see a clear desk unless it's an unboxing, in most cases. So the light directly above, this is why you don't see a clear desk. Love the desk, but yeah. But today, what we're going to do is what is on here is going to go on to a serving board, i.e. resin. I'm not doing these colours. Give it a heads up on that. I'm not doing these colours. I am <clears throat> using alcohol ink. So, this has actually come from Sophie and Toffee Coastal, Coasters and Trinket Dishes. So, I will be using these. The effect that's wanted is basically blue with a little bit of green and um, throwing in some white. So it's going to be quite nice. I have kept the label. The reason behind this is because this is not for me. This is for a neighbour a couple of days, a couple of doors down. Now she has, um, her and her hubby help us out a little bit every now and then. Granted we help them out, but I just thought as a special gift, I would do, I offered to do a board. Um, so what's happened is actually she's brought a, a board and has asked us to do one for her sister. So this is how things start. Um, <laughs> she actually came into the uh, craft room for the first time the other day and she went, wow. <laughs> okay, so what we are doing is resining this board. She is not wanting a hard line, so therefore there's not major tape on there. This is actually, what I've covered here is actually, um, a, what I've used is a protective sheet that you use when you um, paint. So you actually have the tape that puts a good edge on and then the plastic covers it, the floors or wherever you're painting. I have taped the board up, so what I've taped up is the back here, taped up the edges gotten a reasonable line there. I'm not too stressed about this line because I will be working with correcting it um, when this comes off. Okay, one of the things when working with surfaces like this and you don't want the resin to go underneath, you must, and I will say must, you need to put so much pressure on the, and I'm sorry if I'm shaking the camera, you need to put so much pressure on the edges and hang on a sec. So I've just messed up the edge. go back on it oops I don't tear it that will go back on um, so that when she gives it as a gift she's still got the labeling and all the care stuff on there but I let's try and lay this carefully down normally so excuse the head one of the things I normally do is I will actually cut that edge to get it smooth when because when I how I first put them down but it's already, already got that guidance. Okay, so there we go. I am ready to go with this little guy. And um, yeah, I'm gonna set the table up and come back to you once we're kind of in a sort of good way. sheet protecting my bench. I've got the silicon mats down so that when the resin pours over it will actually set on the resin mats and I can peel it off. 
Um, I have used this resin, this silicon mat is just a baking mat. Um, yeah, so I've done that. Um, I have leveled the board. I've gotten all my protective equipment out. <laughs> my mask with the filter. Yes, I'm being good this time. Gloves. And uh, I have a very cool apron that's getting messier and messier. My mum gave it to me one year. She's seen it in my craft room. She goes, I know it gets used. Now she knows it gets used. Okay, aprons on. So when I put the apron on, I tend to, when I'm not wearing the apron, I tend to wipe my hands on my pants or my shirt or whatever's there near my thighs. So the apron actually stops that because, one, it's stiffer, but it also, um, it's too pretty to do it. <laughs> right, so yeah the mask I actually have a filter inside that so these are actually washable masks so these are pretty cool um, so that'll go on shortly I've got my resin so I use art resin two-part epoxy this is the non-toxic so it's very low on fumes um, no VOCs no BPA so when I use this I use this inside yes I have my windows open I have my door open which I don't normally have when I'm recording so what I'm going to do is measure equal parts I'm guesstimating the resin but in that guesstimation if I have resin left over I have other stuff to put it put in it so put it in um, that 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 acetone to clean up afterwards gloves so this is all level I think I've wandered on waff, waffled on rabbit it on board is level I'll get that right out of the way now stuff's not needed now the ending effect I did a couple of trial well I did a trial runs with um, clear resin with just adding alcohol ink um, what I'm looking for so she wants blues and greens, but I'm not. That's too much green for my liking. Well, I don't like green anyway. But that's too much green. What we've got here, fair amount of blue, still a fair amount of green, but this has taught me that I need to push my alcohol ink right out to the edges. But this is pretty close to what I'm going to aim for. So that's with a little bit of green, quite a lot of blue. I have to be very careful. Um, I use a flamethrower to get the gases out of the resin. This is alcohol ink. <laughs> when I was trying this out, I put the flamethrower on and went poof. <laughs> okay, so that's my ending result. Is something similar to that, probably not as solid, but we will see. Um, and it is on to it. Measuring jug. So these are going to be resin is because it's a chemical reaction these have to be measured pretty close together I'm looking at needing I probably won't need a cup but we'll see so now it's just uh, enjoy the music get some of these bubbles up you can see I held it up before where you can see it was all cloudy now there's just bubbles and it's they will come out they will come out just gonna let it sit a little bit So the next steps is just simply pouring, um, I'm, I'm going to have plenty left over so I'm going to do coasters as well to match, just as an extra special step. Um, and that also helps hold down that plastic, kind of, I'm just trying to get this nice, there we go. Okay, here goes the pour.
benefits of clear resin is it's a lot easier. So no colour on there at this stage. And just going to get the bubbles. And we have a little, or well, you can really see the organic shape. Um, we do need to just wipe that by. Okay. I have a little bit of resin still around the edges that is ripped off. I'm just popping bubbles. Okay. Now that is it for resin. Now it's for colour. Okay, gloves are off. <laughs> no more touching. Um, I don't know how, how it is, but we'll see how it goes. So I've poked and prodded this a bit. Um, I will now actually take the plastic off here. I need to take the plastic, take the tape off the back. So apart from the glaring light up there, that is, um, the serving board is done. Um, actually, hang on. No, because I can see some ink. That serving board is done. This, um, all they'll need to do is just oil this to use it. It can be used as a cutting board or a serving board. Um, probably, I think, by having just a small amount, but anyway. Come back to this when this is completely cured and these guys are set we will um have a finished piece to do go with the oak wood serving board okay so um there we go all finished all complete oops looks better when you do that so this is now done it is, that is all it is. There is no resin going over the wooden board. So this is still, this is food safe. This has got the alcohol ink in it. So, um, but this section is food safe. That is more for the decoration. But what do we think of the colors of that? Okay, move that to the side. Okay, so that's some beautiful color in there. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So if you look, the edges are always one that I'm always nervous on, colour-wise, because when you don't colour underneath, but that's actually given it a nice flow coming down. And even that side. And that's all nice and smooth. The underside is actually, because I use the tape, and because I dealt with um, the edges when the tape came off, there's no requirement for sanding, so no requirement to actually touch this wooden board at all. But what do we think? I love that colour, it's coming out beautiful. I would. But that is more, it's pretty hard to actually tell what, how it is. But yeah, there we go, all done and dusted ready for its uh, new home um, so yeah guys thank you for watching hit the thumbs up thumbs down if you like um, 
If you're new to this channel, uh, hit the subscribe button. You'll see all sorts of stuff on my channel from crafts uh, with a bit of planning, which was to get my craft channel in order, which then ended up with me budging. Anyway, waffle on again. So yeah, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I do uploads so that you can see all sorts of different stuff that I work with. And I will say, guys, bye for now.